Day two of the Dakar Rally and the first stage for the contestants between Cologne and Cordoba began with a bad piece of news, a bad weather and floods made it impossible to cross several fords. Consequently, the starting line was moved to kilometer 52. The first special race of this 2010 edition is 168 kilometers long for the bikes and the quads and 199 for the cars and the trucks. The bikers were the first to go, no surprise at the first checkpoint. Title holder Mark Coma of KTM was leading, followed by two Frenchmen, Cyril Debré on KTM as well, and David Castor riding a Chaco. Behind them, Netherlands Franz Verhoeven was in trouble. He had to stop to fix his bike, but the problem was minor and he was able to go back. At the second checkpoint of the day, Mark Coma was still ahead, 12 seconds clear of Cyril Debré. The other trickler, David Kester, was in ambush and attacked. After a great performance in the last part of the special race, he took the lead at the end of stage one. At ease on his new 450cc Charcot bike, Kester is 3 seconds clear of Cyril Depré and 12 seconds of Marc Coma. Behind the Spaniard are Jordi Villadoms and Francisco Lopez. In the car section, this stage one was Nanny Romas. He who claimed the victory in 2004 on a bike was simply the best this Saturday. Last year already, he had finished on the top seat after the first special between Cologne and Cordoba. At the time he was driving for Mitsubishi, he's now part of the BMW X Trail team, along with Stefan Pedarenzel. The two partners were feeling fine for this first special race. The Spaniard was ahead at all checkpoints. He attacked from start to finish, coming home two minutes and seven seconds ahead of his countrymen and major rival for victory, Carlos Sainz of Volkswagen. In third was his BMW teammate, Stefan Pedarenzel. Despite Roma's high note, the day was not that bad for the Volkswagen team. Nasser Alatia and Genius de Villiers taking the last two seats of the top five. And the day was not that good for the X-Trail team. Francis Gerlin Shishrit had trouble with his engine and was forced to stop for a long time, about 30 kilometers from the finish line. He's now 57 minutes of the winner of the day, Nani Roma.